Park's no place for a stroll anymore. More likely to find a muggin than a picnic these days. You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. She has a tadpole. Or perhaps you'll find something bloodier. The absolute warriors are at work, just beyond here. You'd be wise to not interfere, brother. Nothing's going on. And even if there was something, you'd be wise to ignore it. Absolute's business. Got it? Now be off. You'll attract attention. In her name. Seems like a good moment to talk. Let this murder be his sacrifice! Entering her mind is like stepping aboard a sinking ship. The architecture of her consciousness buckles and collapses. Thoughts yield to a flood of overwhelming power. The elder brain. Do not waste time. This mind cannot bear us. It turns to liquid. Listen, just listen. We learn, we grow. Loosen our clumsy bindings. Aid us, necromancer, dead. Changeling and tyrant remain at odds. Kill them. You have a place in my grand design. The Elder Brain was working her like a damn string puppet. What else is it capable of? What? What happened? I know I taste copper. <laughs> to step. Everyone, keep back! Oh, Mallard's Mark, here we go. Are we quite sure she hasn't actually died this time, brother? She looks dead. Smells it too. Ooh. It has been a hard road. But I can clip you both around the ear to prove I am no ghost. If it would help. Forgive us, Mother. We're just surprised you still know how to find your way home. A sending spell can carry 25 words. Do you know how many Jahira's only message contained in all this time she's been away? Seven. The message went, I'm sorry, you know what to do. So why haven't you done it? You were supposed to get the young ones out of the city. And you were supposed to be dead. That's what your oh-so-stoic message meant, yes? Yet here you are. So, what happened out there? I got my skin saved by this one. 
We've come to take the fight to the cult. Which is exactly why you all cannot be here. Why? You plan on winning, don't you? You're the one who saved us, so tell me. Are we all doomed? So fight. That's what all you heroes and harpers are for, isn't it? You are a very irritating girl. Uh-uh. This isn't your house, remember? You'll keep a civil tongue under our roof if we let you stay at all. Have mercy, sister. She's old, after all. Seems I'm outvoted. See, mother? That is how you go about talking things through with your family. Now, if there's more to discuss, then bloody well come in and wipe your boots. Take kindly to raise in the dead, but I won't be long, I promise. My big brother, Garrett, he got killed by that murderer guy, but I'm gonna fix him. Now, keep watch. with power before fizzing out the child has power but lacks control oh, you're close Merkel I can feel your shadow give my brother back please like this Exorde me, Merkel. Resuscita fratrea meam. Emoce ad me redico eo. for me. What's that? I thought I was done for. Lady Look, bless you. You and me both. That's what I get for filching a baldy. The nutcase made me dig me own grave. Stone Lord, he calls himself. More like Stone Shies. <laughs> Mm. 
The very one. And my idiot self didn't realize till it was finger deep in his pockets. Won't be making that mistake again. Look, I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodahs. You're welcome to them. I should speak up. Come out, sister. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. Sister is older than me. She always likes to play. She hides in the ground. But I will find her. Mother and father hide in the ground with her. I hope I find them soon. I like this game, but it is less fun to play it alone. Hey, my folks are buried here. I'd love to pay them a visit. Here lie Pluck and Carlac Cliffgate. My parents. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Uh, sorry I haven't visited. I've been... Uh, away. But I'm back now, and I brought friends. I miss you so much. But I'm happy, and getting up to some really important shit. Maybe you can see for yourselves. I don't know. You're with me here. Anyway. Taters. <clears throat> Men, I love you in the Cliffgate household. I can't even remember how it started anymore. <laughs> Lost family law. There was a lot of silly nonsense in our house. My mates used to say we had our own personal language. I guess I'm the last remaining speaker. Mum used to say there was no such thing as death. That there was only change. Dad thought that was a load of woo. That gone meant gone, unless you'd struck a deal with one of the gods. Said he had better things to do in life than beg favors off immortals. I'm not sure what I believe. Nice thought, isn't it? This grass could be my mum's hair. The air in my lungs might be my dad telling me taters. I like that. Here lies Carlac Cliffgate, beloved wife and mother. Still breathing, despite everything. Yeah. 
pilgrims. Cards. You almost feel sorry for dribbles. Lots of talk about the Hello. How for a skeleton king? There's nothing. Let's move. This body. A sacrifice or some kind of display. Bloody awful clown, no doubt. All right, what now? Hello, hello. Ooh, are you the new cheese dropper? I do hope so. I'm almost down to the last crumbs. A person who drops cheese, which I eat. Alexander was his name. He dropped all manner of morsels, but the cheeses were the best until the red man visited. A dwarf, all dressed in red. He smiled and held Alexander closer, and then Alexander was shouting and struggling, and soon he was all dressed in red as well. So many red morsels fell out of Alexander. They tasted like salt and rust. Very good, even better than cheese. A way to make more people red and to spill their tasty morsels. Go away now. Your delicious scent makes me crave your morsels, but it would be rude to bite you. The morsels in you. The corpse regards you lifelessly. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Murder! Obviously. The 
corpse remains silent. It does not know. He was short, dressed in red. Dogs, ombudsman. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. even worse than it looks. Oh. be the time. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Limbs locked up, then hand cut off. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Looking ahead. One day I'll catch a break. That corpse is huge. 
And is that a burning heart? Gods are watching me. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Falogir always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Falogir's fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? You feel an all-too-familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. Aha! A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the Absolute. I have a special sample, available just for you, if you wish. This one will be very useful against any and all enemies of Gortash. Be sure to be clear of its explosion area. Please enjoy responsibly. And nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else I can do for you? What else? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. We're purveyors of smoke powder. Anything that can be lit, flamed, or fired up. Smoke powder is a beautiful mistress. She will not be limited to one form. And she is quite malleable in the right hands. What are you really asking, friend of Gortash? I see. Then he must not have perceived my update. You may bring this message to him. Everything is right on schedule. The next batch will be dispatched within a ten day. Exceptional quality, if I do say so myself. The Gondians will know it when they see it. I believe that concludes this purchase order. We very much appreciate Lord Gortash's continued honoring of our humble establishment with his custom. Have you tried the Lantanese candles? Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted torch is more to your taste. Aha! You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Yes, yes. He's just upstairs. But only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers.
Never a dull moment. The locked door has red text on it reading, All are waited, all are embraced. None shall escape. Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now the dread lord's trial. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants, each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Devella was right. Not just an imitator, but Saravok himself. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. A long while ago, my wretched sibling bought me back. The fairest of Baal spawn soul bound me to this husk. Worship death though I do, I refused it. I roamed the coast, gathering those who still held Baal in their black hearts. The cult survived, festering beneath the city, with me as the gate's everlasting poison. But no more, for poison is too slow a death. Now is the time for slaughter. With these killings, the glory of the Balis has risen beyond what we dreamed possible during those dark days. But the worship of my lord is led by another now, my granddaughter, Arin, the youngest unholy assassin ever to follow in Baal's bloody trail, and his chosen. My very blood, and by extension, his. Baal has never had a more gifted prodigy. Arin's gifts surpassed even her mother's. Her mother knew this, and she could not bear it. When Arin was but seven years old, she tried to smother the child as an offering to our Lord. I heard the screams. I ran to help, but feared for the child's life. But the cries were not Arin's. It was her mother's blood that soaked the sheets. Arin had cut off the very hand that tried to end her and made a plaything of it. And as she toyed with her dead mother's hand, a deep quiver rose up through her throat. The Lord of Murder speaking through the child. Lay not a finger on this child, he said, nor let any other, for this child will serve me with unholy ardor. Protect her in my name.
I knew of my daughter's ambitions, but not the lengths to which she'd go. She hungered for Baal's favor more than anyone I'd ever known. But her daughter, Arin, hungered even more. My lord made his choice. I abided by his words. But Arin is not the subject of our judgment here today. You wish to become an unholy assassin of Baal. So, approach and be judged. There is no better mirror in which to see the true nature of a killer than his victim. You took their hands from them. Now, I will clutch one of their souls from the abyss, that they may show Baal who you are. Let us begin. Spirit of the Slaughtered. Return to us. Show us the truth of this murderer's intent, and let us judge him for his bloody service. His will be done. life and thus its voice so speak for it how was this pitiable creature slain reverence zeal long may he reign Your offering pleases Lord Baal. Your words delight him. You slaughter well, Aspirant. You are deemed worthy. Enter the Dread Lord's abattoir and submit to his will. Seems like a good moment to talk. You stand now on the cusp of the Dreadlord's favor. One killing secures your rebirth as an unholy assassin of Baal. The slaughter of a celestial being. Make violence of its goodness. Spill its blood. And bathe in Baal's eternal rapture. Boy! I know you. Do not listen to this ancient fuck. Free me at once. Be quick. idea how wrinkles like mine get caught in chains like that. I suppose some thanks are in order. You did a good job putting a stop to those barlist burps. 
tricks. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I... Uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. After our chat at Charesse's caress, I thought it best to polish off the bottle I'd started. I started coming over all woozy. My joints stiffened up quicker than a brothel browser's loins. Paralyzed. My vision went black. When I woke up, I was in chains. Overall, a terrible ordeal. One deserving of a drink. I bid you good day, but it's been royally shite all round. There is no we in this equation, my friend. I assure you, I am quite finished. Besides, it's plain to see that I'm well out of my depth here. But you, well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage, insight, heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic swords. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? With haste.